the next algorithm in matrix vectorization that would be understanding is singular vector decomposition so singular vector decomposition svd is also a very popular technique for dimension reduction uh, so in case uh, so previous to singular vector decomposition we have discussed lu decomposition that decomposes a matrix into two parts uh, after that eigen value decomposition that decomposes a matrix into a scalar and a matrix now in case of singular vector decomposition we will be decomposing the matrix into three parts but before moving ahead towards the mathematics we need to understand a couple of concept that is singular values which is equal to the square root of eigen values and singular vector which is which are normalized eigen vectors normalized means unit length eigen vectors so how to calculate eigen values and eigen vectors that i have discussed already in my explanation for eigen value decomposition you can check that out now sv decomposition is represented by a equals to u cross sigma cross v transpose where u is left singular matrix sigma is singular value matrix which is a diagonal matrix so basically in a diagonal matrix as i have already explained only diagonal values are present rest of the values are zero so the singular values that we will be calculating for a matrix we will be placing them on the diagonal and write singular vectors matrix for v though you don't need to worry i will be explaining you how all these things are calculated so starting off with svd uh, this might be a bit tough on the mathematical side so just pay attention uh, we will be first calculating a transpose cross a and we will be calling it as a dash now we will be calculating the eigen values and eigen vector for a dash Uh, which is very similar to eigen value decomposition that we have discussed earlier in case of eigen value decomposition we were calculating eigen values and eigen vector for a minus lambda i here we are calculating it for a transpose cross a that is the only difference next we will be calculating the singular values for a dash using the eigen values as i told you that singular values are nothing but root of eigen values so we will be calculating the singular values for eigen values and we will be placing those eigen values on the diagonal of a identity matrix forming it sigma for us so out of the three matrices once we calculate singular values we are able to get a sigma now we will be calculating the singular vector for a dash by normalizing eigen vectors so it is again as you can understand it is a extension of eigen value decomposition only so in case of eigen value decomposition we are calculating eigen values and eigen vectors and using them in the final uh, representation in case of svd we are going one step ahead and we are calculating singular values and singular vectors now once we are able to calculate singular vectors which is nothing but normalized calculate uh, normalized eigen vectors v is equal to matrix of singular vectors of a dash sigma is diagonal matrix with the distinct singular values and for u for calculating u the the third remaining matrix we can use this particular equation because in this equation we have four variables a equals to u cross sigma cross v transpose v no a v no sigma v no uh, v transpose so eventually using this particular equation u equals to a cross v cross sigma transpose and we will be placing all these three values we will be getting a u also so in this way sv decomposition happens uh, where using singular values we are constructing our decomposed matrices